How do you write and share articles on LinkedIn? Today, I'm going to show you how to upload your article onto LinkedIn, how to format it, how to share it out so that people actually read it, and how to post it into groups and get more people to engage with your article. My name is Louise Brogan. I'm the host of LinkedIn with Louise a podcast, and I also upload regular mini trainings and tutorials onto YouTube to help you win business on LinkedIn. Let's get stuck in. Okay, so now we're going to show you how to put your article on LinkedIn. And for ease of reference today, what I'm going to do is use an existing blog post. And there's no issue with using something you already have um, to write an article. Or you can, obviously, you can write an article um, from scratch. But if we go in here, you click on Publish as Louise Brogan, or I can do it as my company page, because now I company pages can also publish articles. And what we want to do is add in an image at the top here. The recommended size for this image here is 700 by 400 pixels. So I'm going to go to Canva and I just resized the existing, so this is the existing blog here that we're going to use for our article. And I want to resize this image in here to fit the um, LinkedIn article. So let's go back to LinkedIn and I'm going to drag it up into here. If it'll let me. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to copy off the headline. Just find the image. Open it up. And there we are. So we've got our image on here. Now, um, you can add a caption if you wish, you don't have to. So then the headline, remember, I'm just going to literally take what I've got here. So how to get noticed on LinkedIn is my headline for this article. How to get noticed on LinkedIn. You can go read this article if you like after the video. And this is the where your article starts. So on here, you can add images, videos, slides, links and snippets in here. Interestingly, under links, you can add links to a video, um, social media. You can add links to a podcast on SoundCloud. There's lots and lots of things that you can add in here. So, but we're going to start with um, writing text. So we come out of here and we're literally going to go into the article that I've got ready made. And I'm going to copy the text over. You can copy the whole thing, of course, if we do, if you wish, like this. And just scroll up. Of course, if you're at the back end of the website, that might be a more convenient way to do it. I'm going to hit paste. So you'll notice it hasn't brought across all of my images here. It has, however, brought some links. So let's have a look at what this link is. And you go up here and click on the link. <laughs> you can open it in a new window just to check it. Um, it's also got nicely spaced out bullet points. And I really recommend this to make something easy to read on LinkedIn um, by adding in lots of white space, making nice short passages um, and that is our article covered across from our blog post. So if you want to add in a picture in here, so we go and we click on an image and you just upload an image from your computer. Or if we want to add in a link to a video, so I'll show you how to link to one of your YouTube videos. So let me go and grab a YouTube video. So what we'll do is we'll go and grab this video, how to share your blog post to LinkedIn. And we'll take that across to LinkedIn and we'll put that into the video link so you can see what it looks like. And just hit enter and it brings a preview of your video. So just make sure that everything is spaced appropriately. And oh, it says problem saving your draft, that's okay. Um, so you can see this is nicely spaced out. Um, if you want to put something in bold, just go to like this here and click on the bold up here. Um, and if you wanted to put something in italics, of course, you can do the same. So status update 
italics and if you want to do something in a headline so maybe we want to pick this one and say it's a heading so it's a heading too there we go so if you can include links so what you can put in here is you can have headings bold italics underlining bullet pointed numbers unnumbered bullet points add quotes add links um, and it's the different kinds of things you can put in that I find really valuable. So you can add in images, videos, possibly slides if you have them, um, and snippets put in there as well. So if we, that's gone straight back up the top. So that would be something that you put in here um, that could be like a quote from somebody. Um, and put that in as well. So once you've finished, and to remove something, sorry, just go backspace and take that out. There we go. And to get people to actually comment on your posts, um, let me know, ask a question at the end, let me know how you are currently using LinkedIn to raise your profile in the comments. Okay. And I've got some um, getting in touch here. Find out. So these are links to um, articles that I've written, and there's a link. There's my sales message saying if you want help getting someone to help you write your content for LinkedIn, then get in touch. All right. So now I can go to the publishing menu here, drop down, and I could save this as a draft, um, or I can just hit publish. So if we go over here. And what we're going to do now is we're going to publish the article. So click publish. And this automatically says, yeah, creates a post to share with your network. So I have literally just um, uploaded an article today, but I'm going to do another one. So um, creating today's LinkedIn tutorial video for my YouTube oops, channel on how to create and share articles on LinkedIn. This is the article I am using for my video. I'm going to put that arrow in there. Arrow. And so people know what it is that I'm doing. Okay. Are you using articles? Are you <laughs> uh, subscribed to my channel yet? Here's the link. Why not use it as an opportunity to invite people to the channel? YouTube.com forward slash C forward slash LinkedIn with Louise. Now with LinkedIn posts and articles, at this stage, we want to add in some hashtags. So uh, let's type hashtag LinkedIn articles, hashtag LinkedIn tips. Oops. Okay. And hashtag um, LinkedIn strategy. Okay, so between three and five hashtags is perfect. Um, that's what it's going to look like. And once I hit publish, the article is published. So it says, congratulations on publishing your latest article, Louise. Share it to get more views. And I find this fascinating that it says share it on Facebook. So we click on there. And if your Facebook is connected, then you're going to now share your article um, over here. New article on LinkedIn today. Check it out. I'm going to actually share that on my page rather than on my personal profile. Okay, and I'm gonna click down here on post to Facebook. So that's how you've shared it to Facebook. And that's your close. Then share it on Twitter. So your Twitter account is normally connected to LinkedIn already. And when you set up your accounts, if it's not, you can set that up in your settings. And there we are, we're now tweeting about it. So why not encourage more people to go and check it out? And then if you are in a group, let's just get rid of that. Hey, by the way, Twitter. 
that was my Twitter window, and share in your groups. So if you are a member of different groups, then why not go in and share it into your groups? So click on the group that you want to share it into, um, and then you can share it in here. I used to automatically create a post, and it's not doing that. So what I need to do is go and get the link to the article, copy to clipboard, go into the group, and post it in here. Okay. Now, I'm not going to post this in this group because I haven't been active in this group and they might find it a little bit odd um, that I'm posting a bit, uh, an article in there today, so I'm going to discard that. But that is how you would be posting inside the groups that you're in. So I hope you find that useful and helpful. You can also message your network. So it could be somebody that you um, have been speaking to recently has been asking you about this uh, topic and send it to them. And then how to find the articles that you have already written. If you go to your profile, me, posts and activities, and you click on the articles tab here, you can see all of the articles that you have posted. Now, a view of an article is someone who has actually clicked on the article to read it, um, whereas a view of a post in the newsfeed is when somebody has been shown your post but not necessarily clicked or engaged with it. So these are um, smaller numbers, but they have longevity. So the longer your articles are there, the more people are reading them. You see, if you go down, um, 116 views, 89 views, 64 views. Um, but being consistent and sharing those articles will help you um, raise your profile on LinkedIn. And we can look at other people's profiles to see if they have written articles. So if we have a look at Amy, um, has Amy written articles? Let's scroll down to her activity. And you can check on somebody's profile here, have they written articles? So the last time um, Amy wrote an article it was in February 2020. So absolutely, I do believe articles are a great resource um, for people to find you on LinkedIn. And I do encourage you, and especially if you already have the content on your blog, why not repurpose it into an article on LinkedIn? Um, subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks on using LinkedIn for business. I'd love to hear from you down below in the comments what questions you have about using LinkedIn because I love to create videos that answer your questions. And thanks for watching.